Okay, so now that we've gone through a little bit about the model of the eye and some of the kind of the guidelines that I like to use in order to get some really uh, successful results, now we're going to dive into actually painting them. So I think I mentioned earlier that I like to do most of my eye painting in Photoshop, and that's true. However, uh, before I get it into Photoshop, I want to project it, uh, project an eye, just a really rough eye, on my geometry in Mari, just so I can get placement of where the iris is in relation to the sclera and the pupil. So I'm just going to do it to one eye for now. So I'm going to hide the geometry, create a layer. and just focus on one of these eyes. And I'm going to grab an eye that I've cleaned up. I'm just going to lay it down. a rough projection. And there's a couple reasons why I'm projecting a photograph. I know a lot of people spend time just rebuilding their eye textures from scratch and I find that the result is never as good, never as photoreal. Uh there's just so much subtle nuance to an eyeball. Especially the iris, the way the iris uh bleeds to the sclera and obviously all the veining and the color variation in the sclera itself. And here we go. Nice clean projection of the eye. So you can see it sits right on the edge of that concave shape, which was uh, exactly what I'm looking for. And if we go to the UVs. So for the time being, based on my UV set, a 4K map is going to be sufficient because this is taking up about 2K worth of resolution for my eye. Um, and it's very rare that we even get this close to the eye. And as you can see, this detail's holding up pretty well. Uh, sometimes I like to UV my eyes so I have one eyeball per patch. And in that case, I'll just knock this patch down to 2K. So I'm just painting 2K eyes. Because that's 4K is just kind of overkill in terms of res resolution. You're not going to uh, see significant gains in return on that. So I'm happy with that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eyeball projection that I've done here and I'm going to export selected layer into a folder. For now I'm going to put it in this PSDs folder. and export actually I'm going to actually select this patch here do that again export selected layer to the PSDs folder I work in progress export selected patch there we go another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this patch, right click and extract a uh, UV mask to image manager and then this is a nice new feature UV it kinda gets cut off so I'm gonna go up here you can go to patches UV wireframe to image manager which we didn't have before 
Uh, it is triangulated, but you know, if you really want just a quad one, you can do it out of Maya. Uh, but this is this is going to be okay for what we need. So now we have these two extracted ones, which, which are really nice. And we're just going to right click, save as, and then put it into my I folder. like so. I'm going to go into Photoshop and grab all three of these. Perfect. Now from here I'm going to work all in Photoshop. So the only reason I'm in Mari in the, to begin with is just to make sure that the placement is exactly where I want it to be. This makes it easier when I'm painting in Photoshop that I know whatever I originally projected, that's the location uh, on this UV space. So if I were to drag these UVs over and then drag this mask over, quickly create a PSD system that I've that I've done in the past. This is kind of the traditional method I use. Just put it on a dark background with the 50% gray and then I can discard this. And this is the wireframe. Actually I'll leave it black. So this is my tr typical setup for a basis of painting in Photoshop. So I have a wireframe layer, I'll have my borders so I know exactly where everything ends, I'll have my paint layer, and then just a base 50 gray. Uh, the colors in this layer, this um, borders layer, and base are arbitrary. These are just colors that I like using. So from here I'm going to just rename this file eyes and save it as a PSD. And there we go, ready to go. And I'm gonna actually I'm gonna leave it like this. So I'm not gonna be doing any more work in Mari for the time being. And the rest of the work is gonna be in Photoshop. So I'm going to end this demo right now, and then we'll pick it up uh, with uh, continuing the painting the color maps for the eye and talking about uh, my theories and methodologies and getting realistic sclera textures and veins and stuff like that.